My name is Leo Witt, and we are at the Sedona International Film Festival, and I'm here with um, Mr. David Dibble, and he is here to promote his new short film. Do you mind telling us about your film and um, introducing what it's about? Of course. I have a short film called Adonis. It's a romantic comedy about a guy who hires a dating service that uses a cute little dog as a chick magnet to get girls. Very cool. It's a very universal thing, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> but um, what is so unique about your film is that it's like semi-animated, semi with real actors as well. Yes. So do you want to tell us about like the process of how that works and what we see on screen? Sure. Adonis is set in a very strange little crazy cartoony world that the real the people are shot on green screen, but the backgrounds were all created with real doll houses and miniature like model railroad buildings and mountains we built and oceans and it's all a little mountain shirt like a pop up book kind of mm -hmm. brought to life was the plan. Definitely. And so yeah. with that, the editing process required lots of just piecing together. Do, can you tell a little bit about the editing process of the film? <laughs> Once we finished shooting, it was all on me after that. My crew said goodbye, and then it was all me in front of a computer for the next two and a half years, trying to put those two worlds together. Mm -hmm. And with that, um, how, how was that? Like, what were some of the difficulties and challenges maybe you faced while doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had many terrible days. <laughs> yeah, and two and a half years. Yeah, I mean, it seems it was a well-shot movie, but you're always going to have some sort of issues. And so one of the issues was that uh, shadows don't key out, and so you have to like kind of rotoscope them out frame by frame, mm -hmm. but then add fake shadows later. So that was my I hate shadows. <laughs> that was the worst experience ever <laughs> to make shadows. But uh, yeah, every every shot is like full of details and layers, so there's a lot of a lot involved. So just tedious work, but mm -hmm. it, it definitely pays off. Um, do you want to tell maybe about? the process of what your film went through, like through festivals, like w tell us about like after you finished the film, yeah. what kind of happened from there? The big thing that happened was that it was accepted to the Cannes Film Festival as part of the American Pavilion Emerging Filmmaker Showcase. And actually went there and actually Congrats. won, and so it was very exciting to be part of that big crazy nonsense. And this has uh, been festival number 12 so far, so it's been a, I've been living out of a suitcase for the last year. Kinda. Well, wonderful. Well, congrats to you. That, no, thank that you. is a very, very great feat. Um, so with that, can we talk a little bit about your background? So okay. where did you um, attend university maybe for film school? Hey, I went to USC a long, long time ago now. Mm -hmm. what, what was your experience like there? What would you say? So? Uh, film school is interesting because it teaches you all the basics about everything about filmmaking, but it's basically the base. They don't really show you the real, real world and how you get a job. So I was very lucky after I got out of school to be an apprentice under Alan Davio, cinematographer. Mm -hmm. He was a famous for doing E.T. and Bugsy and that kind of stuff. Then I saw how the real world works and you see like a real artist. And so that was kind of my real education, I think, being an apprentice with him. Mm -hmm. is, uh, real inspired by him. Great. So from, from that, from school, um, what mm -hmm. were some of like the other little projects, or actually big projects, that you yeah. worked on up until the journey of um, your short film now? Yes, well, mostly lots of little projects. I, I became, I started calling myself a cinematographer, so I started shooting commercials and student films and short films and features and so forth. And the last couple of years I was involved with a lot of uh, little documentaries, uh, featurettes basically for, for Warner Brothers DVDs and so forth. And that's what paid my rent. While in the meantime, I try to get projects like Adonis going. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, after Adonis, like, are, what are the plans for the future, would you say, in terms of your filmmaking right. or right. where you're headed? Well, I'd, I'm finishing up a little short film that is basically the anti-Adonis, because Adonis is very technical with green screen and so forth, and now that's my least favorite color in the world. And so <laughs> I wanted to use uh, real locations. So I, I had this little, uh, basically a fairy tale about an old man who lives on a mountain, and he turns on the moon every night. And I actually shot that on Super 8 millimeter film, old school. That is very old school. Yeah, very cool. now I just have to write the music for it, and then I'll figure out what to do with that. But I also want to write some kids' books, just to experiment with different ways to tell stories. Wonderful. So you dabble in a little bit of every um, process of filmmaking, obviously. Yeah, so what yeah. would you say is your favorite out of all of the processes um, that is required in filmmaking? What would you yeah. say is your favorite? I, I'm kind of crazy because I actually like the actual shooting of the movie, mm -hmm. working with the actors, and then like with Adonis, working with a dog, which I think was pretty cool. But that interaction of making that come alive on set is probably my favorite part of it. And then getting to go to Sedona Film Festival is probably even better because you have wonderful audiences, and so you get the audience reaction. That's really why you make films, is mm -hmm. for the audience, so uh, that's my true favorite part of it. Wonderful. Well, that's so great to hear. Um, so, um, any other questions from anyone? Oh, yeah. After yes. working under a cinematographer, what, what gave you the drive to want to try and do animation? 
Huh, that was specifically, the animation came for this movie, because I had never been interested in animation specifically at all. And uh, I just knew that this had to be a, a cartoony movie, because the concept is so ludicrous. <laughs> so you got to have a crazy world where it could happen, and I c you could believe that. So I can't go shoot at the beaches in L.A., because it's brown and brown sky and brown. <laughs> it's not vivacious and colorful. So how do you create a cartoon world? And uh, once I got the idea to go for using real dollhouses and stuff, then I just kind of dove in. And I kind of had to learn animation as I went. So I had to go on YouTube and look up tutorials and have these 12-year-old kids telling you how to do the stuff I needed to do. Like, oh, OK. And then go from there. Yeah, so that was my, I just kind of dove in, because that's the way it was going to be done. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, and you have very like unique um, story ideas. Do you have like a set? maybe creative process that helps you get to the final story idea or like what do you do to get the creative story <laughs> come in? I don't know I, I think it comes from all over the place I mean the, the guy who turns on the moon it's because uh, he used to be my principal when I was in kindergarten actually I've known him forever and he took me camping up in the mountain he had a cabin up there and it was like the most amazing place but there's no electricity there's no things but I knew I wanted to make a movie and he loved to tell stories and how can I combine that and kind of ah oh, that kind of came about Adonis came about because I was uh, with my friend on a movie set. It was during Valentine's Day, and we were angry because it was a terrible movie set. <laughs> and so we were complaining about all of our rejections from girls, and so we're in a really bad mood. And what we need is a dog. And that's how the story for Adonis came about. So you never know where the, the ideas come from. Yeah, where things come from. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for um, coming and sharing with us. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. Thanks here. for having us here. I think. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh and... Where can we find the short? And like, where can we find you and your productions? You can find me and my productions at daviddibbleland.com. Like Disneyland, just not as happy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the movie itself is at adonisthemovie.com. It's not the movie itself, it's there. It's, okay. it's the trailer and behind the scenes and so forth, because the movie is still traveling to a couple more film festivals, and we're going to see where it goes from there. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much again for your time. <laughs> we appreciate you thank having me here. Thank you.